Hello, my name is Brian Sir. In this video, we're going to be looking at some of the features of PRISM, specifically the application uh, discovery function for SQL Server. This is included in the ultimate tier for PRISM on the licensing scale. Let's get started. Okay, we've already logged into our PRISM Central instance. To take a look at the SQL monitoring, we will open the menu, go to Operations, and choose the Integrations option. From here you can see we already have two SQL instances configured. We will briefly take a look at what it takes to configure a new instance. To do this we simply select uh, SQL Server as the entity type, input the IP address for the host that we'll be monitoring, it uses the default SQL port already, and then you enter a username and password that has access to it. Then you can test or save the connection. We'll flip back to one of the existing connections that we have already and we'll click on one of these to see what we can actually see with the monitoring. So now that we're looking at it, we can see from the summary page it gives us some high level details uh, about the host and the database. You can see which host, so this is the virtual machine that our database or databases is running on for the instance. You can see that it's a standalone database server rather than being an, an always available cluster or something like that tells us the SQL version, how many databases are running in this instance, and then the host name. As well as some metrics about resources that are being used. We can take a look at the alerts tab. Uh, we see the alerts over here uh, where it will just tell us you know, a pure number, but if we want to see what those alerts are, we can take a look at the tab. See that we have one alert uh, available for memory. We can click on that and get more details. The events will show us all the events, so these would be uh, the anomalies that were created where some metric has deviated from beyond the expected uh, behavioral range, so those would be uh, events that would be triggered. Uh, databases will give us a list of all the databases that are uh, on this instance that we're monitoring, along with some basic uh, information and statistics about them. Queries uh, will show us all the queries that are being run against these databases. We can click on these uh, to get a better idea of what uh, the query is. So you have the, the choice to view the whole query. You can also copy it uh, if you need to get the query and, and modify it or run it manually yourself. And then through the metrics tab, uh, you can see more metrics about the instance and, and the database. So we can see more details about the CPU, the I.O., the number of connections. As we scroll down through this list, you can see there's a number of stats. These are all very helpful uh, to an infrastructure admin uh, that is getting some basic information about a SQL instance uh, so they can troubleshoot a possible issue and also provide some uh, details in their request uh, if they need to interact with the database team further. I hope this help gives a better idea of what's available in SQL monitoring.